welcome to the sixth video tutorial in this ongoing video tutorial series on cool Drupal 7 modules. I am Peter Yorsky, the Toronto website developer specializing in Drupal. And in this video tutorial, I want to continue on along the search engine optimization theme and introduce you to another module, which I highly recommend for any site, and that's the meta tag module. And what the meta tag module allows you to do is actually customize your page titles, as well as your page descriptions and a whole bunch of other search engine optimization related content uh, for your site. So uh, you'll notice that dependencies, just like all the others, um, you'll need ctools and token. You should have these already installed if you followed along with some of the other um, uh, video tutorials in this series. So go ahead and grab the Drupal 7 version. You'll see at the time of recording this, it's 7.x uh, 1.0 beta 7. And you're going to inst install that on your site. Uh, hopefully you've watched some of the other video tutorials, so you'll know how to do that. Again, module filter, uh, module installed here. So I can just start typing in meta and I'll get the meta tag module. I've got that installed and you'll see it comes with a whole bunch of other modules. I'm going to only introduce you to meta tag and then meta tag views. So go ahead and check those both off. And so once you have that checked off, you'll be able to go to configuration, search and metadata, meta tag, you can click that here. And so to give you an idea of what meta tag actually allows us to do, let's go ahead and search Toronto website developer. And you'll see, uh, I happen to be the first result on google.c. And so here you'll see, I've got Peter Worski, Toronto website developer specializing in Drupal, and then I've got this description here. So this right here, for those that aren't aware, this is actually my page title. And then this here is actually a description of the page. And so what meta tag allows us to do is actually control that on our Drupal site. So here we can define a whole bunch of uh, defaults for different pages that we set up. So you'll notice that for my, uh, for the global, I've got this um, page title being the current page title, and then it's going to put the site name. This is where you want to have some keywords related to what you're trying to target, what specific keyword in Google, uh, and then obviously your site name. And then, you know, you're looking at the generator, the canonical, canonical URL, uh, and then the short link URL. And so where I've got Susie here beside me, pawing at me, trying to get me to pet her. Um, come on, Susan. Uh, so then I can go to the global front page and you'll see that it inherits um, off from the, the global itself and the, the, uh, the default for this is page title is going to actually just be the site name and then the canonical URL is just a site URL and the same as a short link URL. Uh, canonical URL, this just refers to if you know you have multiple pages and you want to make sure that you know, search engines are going to one, not duplicating content, that's where you can define this. But again, a little bit beyond the scope of this tutorial. Um, and then the nice thing here is you can add a default. So if I want to add a default for article, I can go ahead and add and configure. I can, you know, put whatever I want here and save it. And you'll see here I've got node and node article. And so what this actually looks like, if you go to add content, I can go to add an article here and I can just put in test, test, don't even really have to do that. But I've got this nice tab here for meta tags. And you'll see I've got page title. Uh, and this is the default being pulled in from the module, which we just set. And then we've got the description again. Uh, uh, the, the default is being pulled in. And you'll notice that we've got tokens here because that's a dependency. Um, and then you can obviously throw in some keywords. Uh, again, this isn't as uh, widely used as it once was, but I, I've seen some articles or blog posts that uh, claim that you know search engines are using these as a last resort. So I always throw them in, but uh, it's up to you if you want to do that. And then obviously you can expand the advanced tab and, and really get into the weeds for your search engine optimization. Um, but that's meta tags itself. Now I'm just going to show you the meta tags uh, views module. So if you go back over to search, you go to meta tag, you'll see here I've got views. Um, and there's our defaults here for a specific view. But if I actually go into views and I add a new view, I'll just call this the test. I'll go to continue and edit. And you'll notice that we get this nice tab down here where I can click into using defaults and I can specifically define any meta tags for this view that I'm creating. Uh, obviously you set the description, set the page title, uh, the abstract and the keywords. And then I've got the advanced tab just like um, regular pages. So I can cancel that. And the nice thing is you can do this for your page, your block. Well, you wouldn't really do it for a block, but whatever pages you create, you can go ahead and add these meta tags to it. So that's the meta tag module. Again, highly recommend you check it out. Uh, search engine optimization. There are a lot of modules in Drupal that help you out with that. This being one of them. So if you enjoyed this video tutorial and you like the series, please leave me a thumbs up or a comment. Let me know. Always appreciate that. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you for the next video tutorial. Thanks very much.